For the many, I'm not sure exactly how to word it, but in my travels and my studies, my programming, my unlearning, my learning, um, a lot of stuff came up with the Palladians, um, multidimensional stuff. So I have read that we are uh, universal information libraries of sorts and um, highways like um, other dimensions would be able to access us on their travels going wherever. It was meant to be like a, um, a fun, uh, a fun journey, a, a, a thing that, you know, could be open and available to all. What is, does any of that make any sense? Does any of that have anything to do with what we're talking about? <laughs> I don't know why it just came up. Sorry, so, Minnie. There is, as you know, there is the, the, as you would refer to it, the records. And, and when you say anyone have access to it, this is not entirely accurate this is always with hmm, intentions and permissions varied with the ones that we will call the the guardians the ones that are the keepers of this information of course it, some are within uh, the mm, ability to access this as they have always aligned with the we'll say honor or greater good of the ones that whose records are contained but your records are universally available to you as you know when you say around or encoding, it was understood that you meant that it is accessible no matter where you're at or within reach within your ability. Indeed, this is true. The other aspect of your question is not clear. Please clarify for us. So, would it be, I'm, what I'm gathering, it's still kind of far out there, so please excuse me, is different dimensions of ourselves, kind of like a born identity where he just left himself different clues in different realities, um, are able to access the universal consciousness information of infinite and all that. And, and I guess maybe, the the more aware we become the stronger we're able to handle more information i don't does that i don't even know what i'm saying don't <laughs> you know how i am many things just come in and i gotta spit it out many have relayed the parallel timelines we believe you call them and that with every decision made there is mm, an alternate decision also made and thus there is an alternate experience and these timelines branch off. This is in a hmm, difficult to explain, but it is transpiring, we will say, but for your understanding of what each decision's outcome would be. The parallel timelines, as you refer to them, if that is what you are seeking information on, your, all your versions, as it has been referred to as versions of yourself, and, and this is a somewhat accurate analogy. It is a pivotal point. It is not on every decision and every uh, minor decision. It is of the ones that would make a difference in the landing point of your journey or a difference of the mm, perspective for, mm, we will say, reviewing. So when you are in completion of your current physicality, this would be then access to understand the 
Hmm. The variances with each pivotal point. We will leave it at that. So it is simultaneously ongoing, but it is not as if there were thousands of versions of you. It would be a not actual. It is a timeline is a good analogy, but to be more specific, it is more of a stream. Yeah. It is more of a stream of information, not actually physically hmm, experiencing. Does this make sense to you or does this confuse you more? I know this may be disappointing to some of you, thinking that there are many actual physical versions of yourself in some other realm living an alternate life that was not mm, seen or lived in this physicality that you are currently experiencing but it is a stream we like to information and it is accessible that is not recorded in the akashic record the Akashic Records is actually recording every, hmm, every word, every conversation, every interaction with every person you meet, every energy, every thought, mm -hmm. every emotion, every sensation. So. So how I see what I, for lack of better terms, call people's timelines, how it comes to me is like an energetic cords are the thread and this thread weaves this, let's say blanket in front of me. And there is a string or one of these threads that will highlight and I could touch it and I gather the translation, the information from that thread and it can be this client's past life or something within the inner child or whatever this person needs at that moment because that's just kind of how i ask but would what i am seeing and connecting to be what you're talking about as far as the streams does that make sense or is it actually you know like i see it as a you know, possible past life or something so how that connects Indeed. With mm, you are delving into the quantum field when you are aligning with another for the purpose of restoration. This is, mm, shall we say, available. The streams are available, but indeed, that is an excellent analogy. Cool. 